An unsuspecting Manhattan crowd were enjoying their lunches on January 24th. Inside the hallway of the building they were eating at would hold a briefcase that held 10 pounds of explosives. At 1.29 p.m., an explosion that would kill four people and injure more than 50 others would occur. In the ensuing investigation, the Armed Forces of National Liberation from Puerto Rico took credit. It was in retaliation from a bombing that occurred in Puerto Rico that would kill three people and injure others. The group blamed the CIA. Many roads led to dead ends for the FBI and CIA until three years later, in 1978. An accidental explosion gave the organizations the lead they were looking for. A man named William Morales was disfigured after a device he was working on in his home went off. Obviously accidentally. Unless he wanted to do that. William Morales would turn out to be a part of the FALN, and Morales was the group's explosive expert. Inside Morales' home, the FBI and the CIA found a surplus of explosives as well as explosive materials. This landed William Morales 89 years in jail. However, this would be the only arrest in some relationship to the tavern bombing. As of today, no official arrests have been made for the 1975 bombing, 